Hi everyone, you are still uh, in the right place. This is not a wrong channel. Uh, I'm still Bob. This is still music with Bob. Uh, it's just Bob is not in the house today. Bob hey, is <laughs> Bob is in the car, in the car today, and uh, I'm teaming up with my friend Sam because we both really love Brockhampton, and we are just hyped about this. Oh yeah, dude! It's been an hour forty-five minutes. I'm dying. <laughs> the album released one hour 45, 46 minutes ago. Yeah. And we're dying to listen, so let's just yeah, get into it. Uh, the album's called Iridescence. Iridescence, yeah. 15 yeah. tracks, 48 minutes. And the first track is New Orleans. First reaction, let's go. Perfectly fine. That's fine. Said nigga, brother, nigga, what the fuck you need to do? They showed the finish what you started, what you put it for. They told me, got in me a mission, but I'm missing the sun. This is completely different than already. Don McLean. I couldn't tell you was fire. Situation is dire. And it got some acquired. And this position requires a position on her. This is in our own. I'm resigning that these things don't work. I'm in time. Yeah. So they completely removed the idea of best years of our lives. Yeah. They That's just from uh, scratch. Puppy's dead, best years of our lives is dead. Yeah, it's all dead. This is new. Completely. This was made in two weeks or three weeks. Mm -hmm. Like this month. Uh huh. Y'all can bear face? What? <laughs> <laughs> so going crazy, huh? Oh, you're right. Dude, his flow is so fucking evolved since the beginning. Yeah. Cause he wasn't like he wasn't a musician. He, Kevin was like, I want you to be a part of it. Yeah, started from there. Wow. Yeah, I like that part. For sure. That's Jaden, bro. Jaden Smith. You're right. You're right. That's crazy. I was like, who is that? That's yeah. just like Brock Hansen. Oh, we got oh. more. It got everyone in yeah. this track. <laughs> really no. nice intro. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not ready. So I'm excited. Like, oh, Right damn. into it. Transition. Yeah. Thug Life, track two. That was crazy. Yeah, this is so beautiful. This track though, fucking incredible. Pure blessing, honestly. It's interesting how the tracks that have plug life, yeah. but it's so yeah. smooth and sweet. It's plug life, bro. It's the secret life. Understand what I neglect in times when I'm obsessed. I'm ready to confess this fate is hard to digest. Sounds a little like Dom's flow, but it doesn't sound like it. It's like, I'm here secretly singing, using different words. Yeah, it's just like a little bit of 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 a He's probably one of my favorite members because of this. Yeah. Track three. Berlin. What? I just don't know how they're able to do this only in three weeks. I don't know. Bro. They're fucking geniuses. Yo, fucking take a moment to appreciate the production. Yeah. yeah. That's that's genius, man. that's really dope. The beat is like, it's so, yeah, it's like, it's like new style, yeah. like, I've never heard of this kind of stuff. Yo, other than Death Grips, but, yeah, it's a little darker. Dumb. Yo. Like they're slapping yeah. to my face. Yeah. All right, track four. Something about him. Yeah, dude, I like the instrumentals. Okay. It's crazy. So far, it's like hyper track, calm track. Yeah, hyper track. Yeah. The calm ones are shorter. Too, so. right, track five. Where the cash at? Oh, I'm ready for this. 
this one. Yeah. from MIA's work to be honest because, yeah like, Dom actually tweeted that he did get a lot of inspiration yeah. from MIA he said he got inspiration from only Amazing female how back then fame was more important than the business <laughs> alright we got a yeah, little you know that's what I was explaining so I said I didn't track mind getting jerked I could barely rap I could barely dance I track 9 take the one thing I can say as well about this album is like they hired my pianist. <laughs> the piano plays. Yeah, yeah, nice. There wasn't. I don't think there was much piano in saturation, but there's a lot of music. Yeah. So I mean, they were at fucking Abbey Road. Like they had access to so many different things. I'm guessing they used it. Yeah. Joba again. He sounds so different every time. Plus, we get him much more than we. We're getting here on uh, So far, there's a very, very, little very little Merlin, very little Matt. Plenty yeah. of Dom. Oh yeah, a lot of Dom. Dom is, I love Dom. I, I mean, I don't dislike any member more. But I mean, people that have been less are now more, and people that have been more are now less. I like this album. Yeah. I still got six songs to go. Or five, five, six songs. I feel like this is one of my favorite tracks. music video we didn't watch it yeah we didn't watch it yet we should watch it after the album for sure yeah imagine if we watch this before the album no way it's like what the fuck is happening in this album what kind of video you can do i don't know bro they, they'll figure something out they yeah. have in the past Oh, 
trouble, right? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Taxis, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what this is? Feels like a French French. I forgot what it means. Yeah. I open maybe. Something like that. Yeah, this song was perfect. Teaser. Very yeah. sure. It's very. The style is very. You can tell this is so much different than what has been. Even bare faces rapping. Yeah. Yeah. Open. So I open. I know French, dude. I took twice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, track 11. Honey. Oh. Okay. Nice transition. My arms are always open. Your fear is always rolling. In the deep and you can't control it. Your fear is always rolling. In the deep and you can't control it. I need to step out with no frustration. I need a permanent getaway vacation. They got a permanent hit list, my nigga. Come on, get a million reasons to get rich, my nigga. This is tremendous. Bro, and the way he sings, yeah. so perfect. So chill and nice. Track 12. Vivid. Almost a D say don't touch on me with the dedos. I minimize all your credentials. I no 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 Fashion never that's in every little moment. I step in my shift up in this direction. Get to the system is passing. Track 13, San Marcos. Uh, they're returning the like, summer or what? Yeah, track summer? Yeah, kind of like that. And it's interesting, San Marcos is really right here. Yeah. <laughs> now our city is San Diego. There's some bare face. Yeah. I'm curious, like, are there multiple people singing right now? Is that a choir? I don't know. Or only Kevin? It might be a fact. Oh, but it's not San Marcos here, it's San Marcos, Texas. Yeah, that's Texas. where they're from. Uh, it yeah, it's a choir. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, they were in a complete. This room. album is British. It's a British album. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, like, this is Irish yeah. inspired. And, uh, because Bareface is Irish. I yeah. It's yeah. fitting that he's on this song. And it's not, it's about San Marcos. Yeah. But it's British. It's like, it's like everything. Qua British choir, uh, Irish kind of instrumental, yeah. Irish singer on the chorus. I like that one. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Tanya, I've heard this. Uh, you've probably heard it too. Yeah. I love this song. It's probably, I, I, I wonder how they changed it since. Yeah. Because it was just a performance. Yeah. The studio version would be different probably. You haven't watched the performance, watched the Jimmy Fallon yeah. uh, show, and you will find Tonya performance over there. From a while ago. Yeah. yeah. Fabric. 
I'll keep reaching on the evenings when I see them. I tell myself the love will be. You don't Gotta go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it didn't. Oh, what's Y27 seconds? That's <laughs> well, that's odd. <laughs> That's a iridescence. Um, well, it wasn't sure. what I expected. Yeah, for sure. I need to. I literally can't like form an opinion on this album. Actually, yeah, yeah. Because my mindset was not prepared for this, mm. and it's so different. I need to go back and listen more and more, at least a couple more times before I can say. It. For now, there are some songs on there that I, off the bat, enjoy. First two yeah. tracks, mm. last three tracks. Mm. Were great. Yeah. Then um, track nine, I like pointing out myself. As yeah, well. yeah. Track nine, tape. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, yeah. Perfor individual performances. Jobo is fucking outstanding on this yeah. album. Like, <laughs> unbelievable on this album. I did not like. <laughs> just like go if you go back to the original saturation trilogy Joba's in there a couple times whenever he's in there he does a fantastic job yeah but it's like always kind of like similar mm -hmm. style like he's doing like the crazy like yeah, yeah. Hey, in a high school yeah, like, yeah, yeah. but this one it was just like is that Joba <laughs> yeah. and it was every time yeah it was, it was, it was just time. like so many different things yeah I miss Matt champion on there mm. he was on there but it wasn't like Matt champion it was very produced. Yeah, like yeah, very yeah. like he was there, but it was just like a really hot, the uh, effects on it or something. It feels like he didn't take any risks as he was taking on situation. Like yeah. when, uh, his personality was not shining. Yeah, he, his, it, his personality was he was just kind of like a background. Yeah, yeah. To everyone else, also Merlin, like Merlin, the crazy Merlin, like fucking. Yeah. Blah, like he was on there a couple of times. Yeah, he was. Yeah. And he was Merlin, mm -hmm. but he wasn't on there as much as I would have liked. Yeah. Dom is also fucking crazy. Yeah. Well, Dom, Dom was is, on his level on this one. Yeah. Sure. Dom was. He's not as versatile. Mm -hmm. He's pretty much it's like the same style every time. Yeah. But he has a lot to say, mm -hmm. and he does it well. Like his rapping, his flow has improved a lot mm -hmm. since the beginning, when. He was kind of like yeah, I agree. But um, and he definitely yeah, he had a lot to say on this album, and he said it. He had probably the long, but I think he had the most contribution to this. Mm -hmm. Kevin's Kevin, of course, <laughs> always. He's got the the high pitch and yeah, sound like, like a female. Yeah, just do it. it sounds great, dude. Yeah. Keep fucking doing it. It yeah, sounds yeah, great. Yeah. Um, Bareface, I would have liked more like classic Bareface. Mm -hmm. Whenever it was classic Bareface, I enjoyed it. But I like the fact. But that I, yeah, also he's he's stepping out of the comfort, well. and I, yeah. yeah, that was also that was great. Yeah. Um, definitely the title fits the f the mood. Mm -hmm. It's like what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm on LSD, <laughs> like I'm tripping hard as shit. Like I imagine if you were fucking, if you were tripping, if you were high or something, mm -hmm. and you listen to this album, you would have the time of your life. Mm -hmm. Because it's so crazy. Mm -hmm. I feel like you need to blast this like really high. Like yeah, you're right. We were listening. Kind we of, were yeah. I mean, because of the setup, volume. we also need to like take into account that we need to speak and you need to hear it through the microphone. Yeah. And your the, the mic is right on top of the speakers. Yeah. So if we play it louder, you can't hear us. But I'm definitely gonna go back, put on some headphones, and blast this yes. shit, yeah. and see how it goes. But for like, it's definitely not a disappointment. Yes. It's yeah. definitely something very new, and I mean, if you look, I, I don't know if you watched the BBC interview. Yeah, I did. With, but, oh uh, yeah, I, I did the same <laughs> um, I mean, pretty much they said that the albums they were making, the reasons that they scrapped them were because it sounded like what they were doing before. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So this is nothing 
yeah. few of the tracks like Tanya you can tell it's so different from their mood it's just from like because they made it forever ago mm-hmm. they made it before Puppy mm-hmm. so I think what was it? I don't remember but it was before it was before even Wildfire dropped at least yes yes, 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 yes so yes. it was such a different style and then Wildfire well, th- those three, 90, 97, I really 98, 99, them. I love them. Yeah. I love them, but, but we, they were so similar, ex- again, to yeah. their old style, which is why they didn't keep that those singles, yeah. and they completely redid the album mm-hmm. from scratch after that. And I completely respect that, and I think it's... Yeah. It's experimental as shit. Yeah. It's yeah. very experimental, and it's very, like, it's very risky. Mm-hmm. And it's good that they're... Keeping it up like that. Yeah, like they they have enough confidence and they're not like afraid to s- make risks. They mm-hmm. dropped three albums. They they're new. They're they're, I mean, their first album was barely even an album. Yeah, yeah. you're not. I'm. I call it a mixtape. Mm-hmm. The first, the Saturation Trilogy was all in one year. So they've yeah. been big for a year. Yeah. But they can already drop this. <laughs> yes. Like, Kanye West took how many albums to then become experimental? Uh, well, yeah, a lot right. of albums. Like, well, I mean, they were groundbreaking. Oh yeah, of course, I love him. Yeah. But like, they, he did stick to the same style for a while, and then once he became like, I am a god, yeah, then he's yeah, like, yeah. now I'm. Good. These guys are a year old, and they're already on that level. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, nice respect. Yeah, uh, and uh, like you said, everything. <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> I only wanted to add like, um, yeah, for me it's the same like. When I was listening to this album, I was also thinking, like, in my final final thoughts, I will say that um, I will need to listen to yeah. this a little bit more to form a final opinion. But like, um, when I was thinking also about Saturation Three, for example, my favorite album out of all the Saturations, uh-huh. like, I was really amazed and I was like blasting. I was ready to, like, I, I already enjoyed the project. Here, like, I enjoyed it, but not as much. So there is just like this factor of like this is really new uh, and this like we just gotta digest it like more and give it more listens. So I hope that you know after listening to it and we're gonna still enjoy it a lot and we will put this uh, on the same level as saturation or if not more. Honestly, can to be honest, I can compare this to saturation one when I first heard it. Mm-hmm. No, of course it's nothing similar, but. Like the out of the comfort zone of current music is the similar. Like the saturation is not a normal rap album. The first one. Yeah. Like it took a while to get used to that style. Yeah, of, definitely. Uh, Ke- Kevin's like using that high pitch for the choruses, and you've got like six different guys. Yeah. And like they're they're putting effects on their voices, and they're still rapping. They're still using the same flows, but with effects. Yeah. And stuff like that. The first album, I at first I wasn't a huge fan of it. Mm-hmm. It took a while, and then I got used to it. And then once you get used to that style, once they drop the second saturation, which was the same kind of yeah, now thing, you're then you're like, oh it. shit, now I know what to expect, yeah. and now I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And I feel like the same thing will happen to them. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. All right. We'll wrap it up, I guess. Do we uh, give ratings still? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, good. it's just like... It's hard. hard. <laughs> First listen rating. This is not an album rating. This is a experience rating yeah. of the experience. Yeah. As an experience, this has nothing to do with how much I listen to it. Mm-hmm. This has nothing to do with how much I enjoy it. This is how much I was like into it and like mm-hmm. my mind was blown. I will give it an eight out of ten. I actually was thinking of the same. Really? Eight out of ten. Yeah. Because it's an experience, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a fucking. It's like whoa. I didn't. You're listening to it and you're into it and you're like invested yeah. and it's yeah. just yeah. yeah Give right. it a listen. Mm-hmm, for sure. You got to do it yourself because this is gonna be cut down to shit, and you just gotta like you gotta blast that shit. Blast it. That's my recommendation. <laughs> Put it really loud. Yeah. And you'll enjoy it. And also, <clears throat> we didn't really explain who Rockhampton is. Like, I, uh, I mean, you. You should know, know at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and especially, dude, I was they're the hardest working boy band in America, dude. Yeah, that's Come true. on, you should know. And I was explaining it before, like in my previous reactions, but uh, you know, just do some research at this yeah. point, right? But hopefully, you know it. They're fucking geniuses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe for sure to this channel. Subscribing matters a lot to me, to this guy as well, I, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we'll see you guys in the next videos. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.